Hey everyone, my name is Johannes Frey, but you can simply call me Joe and super awesome that you're here today. Recently I noticed that since working in the data analytics field is quite hyped, people are wondering whether to pursue their career as a data scientist or maybe as a data engineer and what to expect from working in those fields. Since I've been working in software engineering for over 15 years now and switched to data engineering about like four years ago, I decided to tell you about my experiences working in the IT industry and give you my five reasons why you should become a data engineer. Let's start with a quick background story. As I've been working in software engineering for quite some time now, I was mainly working on building backend services with technologies like Java, the Spring Framework, but I also used many other programming languages and frameworks throughout the years. And after doing those things for many years, I really wanted to see something new. And at that time, the area of machine learning and data science grabbed my attention. Since I've only built web services up until this point, I was really curious about how to make a program actually learn something. So I started doing some Coursera classes in my spare time and tried to learn those things. And after doing them for some time, I finally decided to pursue a master's degree in data science to really understand those things and to have something real to show for besides just Coursera certificates. And even though I started with the intention of understanding machine learning, I finally decided that as cool as machine learning uh, models might be, the true value is in the actual data. And the machine learning part is actually quite generic if you think about it. But preparing the data for a specific use case is quite some challenge in the real world. That's also why, as stated in my last video, which I will link somewhere here, usually in product teams, there are about three to five data engineers or DevOps engineers with some understanding of machine learning for each one data scientist. And this is basically also my first reason. In my last project at Porsche, we always struggled to find good data engineers, but data scientists sometimes even were benched and couldn't be assigned to projects because there wasn't that much demand for them. Because good data engineers are needed and hard to find, it is a quite safe bet in terms of employment. Also, you don't need to fear becoming obsolete in the future, even though the crazy times that are currently going on with the virus and the budget cuts that were made in the projects where I've been working on, no data engineer were ever laid off or removed from the projects. It usually always affected one of the other roles. My next reason why it's worth becoming a data engineer is kind of related to the first one. That since data engineers are needed as we've established so far in this video, the salaries for data engineers are also quite good. So you have quite some possibilities in this profession to have a really successful career with a very good salary and be able to live your life with good quality. And a little shameless plug, don't forget to go completely insane on the like button, by the way. So another reason why you need to become a data engineer is that it's a good entry point for people that are not sure yet what profession to specialize in. Since you have touch points with both data science and machine learning, as well as more traditional software engineering, it might be a good starting point to get your feet wet. After working some time in this profession, you can then re-evaluate what area of work you enjoy most and then further specialize in it. And since we all know that it's always better making decisions based on experience rather than just from theoretically thinking about them, this is the way to go. The fourth reason that I really like about working in data engineering is that it's a hands-on profession. It's not about bullshitting clients or selling them stuff that they don't need, as for example, some consultants do. I became a sales consultant for the company. It's actually about creating something, even though it's just virtual. I really get some satisfaction and feeling of accomplishment when finishing some nice data processing pipeline after all the hard part of planning, building and testing it. It's really satisfying to see when things come together and the whole system is working together in an automated way and you are able to say, yeah, I did that. Or at least I was part of it. All right, let's talk about my final reason for today. So far we talked about the monetary side of things and the stableness of the job, but for some people it's not really about the money, but more about the freedom. So since data engineering is, like most jobs in IT, super flexible in terms of location and the needed equipment, 
you can basically work from wherever you want, if your employer allows it, of course. So you could, for example, do vacations every now and then where you travel to some nice place and work during the day, but explore the city or region when the work is done. Or where you can go to the beach during, for example, the lunch break or yeah, maybe before the work even starts and just enjoy your time just a tiny little bit more. But even when not going to such extremes, being able to do home office frequently might come in handy in some situations. Also, since you don't really need that much equipment uh, for working as a data engineer, because there is a high demand for data engineers, it's a nice profession to work as a freelancer or to start a company. That then would be the ultimate freedom. I hope you got some value out from my story and my experiences and maybe even decided to give a career as a data engineer a try. If you would like to dive into it more or want to know what you need to become a data engineer, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. And please consider going completely nuts on that like button. That would be really appreciated and would really help me out. So far, see you in the next video. Bye.